Hello YouTubers, welcome back to GQ Auto Diagnostics and Repair, where my job is to save you money. This afternoon I'm working on a 2017 Chevy Cruze LT with a 1.4 turbo engine. And the customer complained that the vehicle has uh, checking your light and it says uh, P0300. Miss random misfire. Okay, the vehicle hasn't had a tune-up in a while, and uh, we're gonna find out how, how many miles are on the engine. Give me a second. According to the odometers, 151,000. So we're gonna replace the spark plugs. I want to take it for a test drive. One, I'm gonna see if the spark plugs. How they look like and we're gonna go from there okay first of all it's supposed to be a bolt here is not there so move put it over there so that we know the debris goes inside the engine I don't know if you guys can see from there. Let me see if I can get a different angle. I wish I can zoom in into this one. Okay, so here's the ignition coils. Right here, the four, a 10 millimeter. So we are going to remove the bolts. See if I can get a better angle. I don't know. I feel like the GoPro is either too far away or. Hopefully, that's better. Okay. Next thing here. I'm not going to disconnect the ignition coils, so I'm just going to twist and it comes out. Now make sure you always inspect the boot. That is nothing here, a trace of like to have a pinhole and the spark, the, the spark is arcing. Okay. Four. Okay. I don't see nothing here. This one. I don't see nothing. The boots seems to be okay. I don't see any oil. If you have any oils, I mean we have some oil leak somewhere. Now here for this vehicle, this is a 14 millimeter socket. Okay, it's not your traditional 5 8 so it's a thinner spot block. So. Wait a minute. That is loose. Huh. Okay, that was loose. This is loose. Okay, that's tight. Good. <clears throat> All right, so we got two loose. Now, lose the spark plug, depending how loose it is, it can create a misfire. Usually when they start to get loose, in my experience, you can hear the spot plug, like, you know, the, the compressor leaking. Hmm. Huh. There you go. It's not terrible. 
AC Delco, which is good. Original equipment. not terrible but you see how it's leaking through there thread is, is different here okay this one is nice and dry this one is wet you can see here blackness and this one is nice and clean here it's because it was loose I believe I like to keep them in order so that way I know where they came from which cylinder? Yeah, this one too got a little bit of oil there. Probably because it's loose. See how this is getting discolorated and this one doesn't? This too. They're the ones that were tight, they're nice and clean on the porcelain. Here they're like, no clean. All right, so I'm gonna put new spark plugs in this vehicle. So here are the spark plugs. For new vehicles, I always like to to use original equipment. I don't like to use aftermarket stuff. You know, it works better, lasts longer, customers happy. Here's your spark plug, nice, shiny, and again, really quick disclaimer, AC Delco, I'm not a sponsor for AC Delco, uh, but I want to, again, thanks to my friends from AutoZone for bringing the parts, that's awesome, thank you guys, appreciate it. Right at the Sam. When I started this vehicle, I didn't feel any misfire, nothing at all. I move it, I park it, runs good, nice and smooth.
always when you put bolts make sure the bolts are nice and sharp you know by hand Notice something here. Right here's the turbo, and that hose is missing. Right here goes to this solenoid, which is a vacuum, vacuum vacuum to the wastegate I believe so as of this moment this probably is not working so I'm gonna put a, a hose here and I'm gonna take it for a test drive and I hope uh, so far if you found value in the video please take a moment subscribe to the channel like give it a thumb up leave your comments down below I know changing a spark plug is not super exciting but you know what sometimes when we don't know things it can look a lot more intimidating and by me taking the time to do this I want to help people feel like hey I want to do it but I'm really I don't know where to start this might help you to say hey overcome that fear or doing it yourself okay so again I hope you like the video so please support the channel I really appreciate it. I will let you know after I replace that and this hose and go for a test drive. See if we will have any other issues. Other way, we'll be right back.